I'm gonna show you on this video how to get 100% returns a year and even more than that. Hey, welcome, Alex here. I'm gonna talk about the difference in residential real estate and commercial real estate in this video. I'm also gonna talk about how generational wealth is created, investing one time and seeing how the compounding effects over the course of many years, how the return starts to get bigger and bigger and eventually you will get over 100% returns a year and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that on this video. So let's go to our handy dandy whiteboard and first, we're going to look at the difference between residential real estate and commercial real estate. That's multi-units, apartments is really what we're talking about here. So you have a single family home. Let's say the value of this property is, we're going to keep it very simple, $100,000. This is going to take $20,000. It's going to take $20,000 to buy. All right, for you guys who don't know. That's 20% down, and you're gonna get a loan of $80,000. Let's say a couple years go by, and this property goes up to $200,000 in value. And you go back to the bank, and you say, hey bank, I want a cash out refi on this deal, meaning I want a new loan on this deal, the same terms in the way that I have bought the property in the beginning, 20% down. That means I'm gonna leave 20% in the deal. So the bank will say, hey, you need to leave $40,000 in this deal. And we're gonna give you a new loan of $160,000. Now, remember, you bought this property with an $80,000 loan. So the bank is gonna pay off the old loan, 160,000 minus your old loan of 80K. They're gonna write you a check for $80,000. This is what we call a cash out refi. This is a non-taxable event because you are getting a new loan. This is not you selling the property, so you're getting a new loan, and the difference of it, you get out tax-free. This is one of the amazing things about real estate, tax advantages, I'll talk about that in a separate video. So now you've got this new property and you put in $20,000 initially and you cashed out 80K. That is four times, 400% return. Now you have no money in this deal. We are in what we call an infinite return phase. Okay, and you can do this same deal four more times. Okay, so the value of the property, single family, duplex, triplex, quadplex, depends largely on how much jack down the street sold. Okay, it depends on how much your neighbor sold. Same footprint, this is called comps. So single family, residence, residential real estate, they, the value of the property is based on the market around you. Commercial real estate on the other end is based on how much income you can generate. So I'm not gonna go over exactly how the formula works in this video, but I'm gonna tell you this. If you have an apartment building that has 32 units, if you can increase the rents by $200 per unit, the evaluation is an extra million dollars, $1 million. So if you bought a deal that cost $3 million and you put $1 million down, you increase the rents on these 32 units by $200, you have now made a 100% return, your cash out. You're gonna cash out your initial deposit. So this is what we talk about in commercial real estate and why a lot of people buy commercial real estate when the rents are below market. That's the opportunity here, okay? So the number one way to increase the value of the property in commercial is by raising rents. The number one way to really increase the value in residential is if you do some work in the property or you wait over time, allow the market to change. So commercial real estate, this is really the value of the property is based on the way that you manage the deal and the deal that you find. All right, so this is, this is what we're really gonna focus on today, but this is the difference in it. And I'm gonna show you right now a formula or a path Okay, the game plan that you should follow that will make you 
a millionaire, 10 millionaire, whatever you want, but you're gonna see that the returns on these overtime starts to compound and get really big. And I'm gonna show you on this video how to get 100% returns a year and even more than that. All right, so let's say you buy a property and you're gonna put $100,000 down Okay, you're gonna invest with someone that's syndicating a deal, someone like us. We were gonna buy a property and it's a group of us coming together to buy it and you wanna put $100,000 down. Let's just for simplicity's sake, say that this deal will give you a 6% cash on cash return. All right, so 6% of $100,000 is $6,000. And these things vary, these deals vary, but the number one thing to remember when you're investing in real estate is that you are looking to protect your capital. You're looking to protect your capital in today's market and actually throughout time, inflation makes your money worth less. If you have $100 today, next year it's worth $93, after that it's worth $85. So you wanna protect against inflation, that's your number one thing. Number two, you wanna get the cash flow. You wanna have cash flow, you wanna create enough passive income that it's going to equal your active income right now, that means you're trading time for money. You want your passive income to exceed that, then you want it to exceed your expenses, and therefore you're gonna be in your first stages of financial freedom. All right, uh, most people understand the concept of passive income, but they never really had the experience. So this is why I urge you guys right now to find a place to start investing your money, know how it feels to get passive income when you're making money while you're sleeping. You could be doing your other job, you could be working and receiving a check every month or every three months, something like that. Okay, so back to this deal. You put $100,000 down. It's a 6% return on this deal. You're saying you're looking at deal one. All right, deal one, year one, you're gonna get $6,000. And you might be asking, hey Alex, I put $100,000 down, I'm only gonna get $6,000. Well, this is $6,000 that you earn without losing an ounce of sleep, without worrying about what's going on in the property, giving any of your energy to this property. This is true passive income. Somebody else is handling it. So year two, you get $6,000. Year three, $6,000. Year four, all right, we've raised the rents enough that we're gonna do a cash out, the whole thing. You still get $6,000 and you're gonna get a full cash out. Okay, let's just say for this example sake that you're gonna get a full cash out. Sometimes you might get 75%, 85%, whatever it be. You're gonna get a cash out. And this cash out right here, this $100,000 you get, Again, same as the cash out in the residential, it's a non-taxable event because it's a new loan. So you're like, all right, I'm doing good. You know, I have my job, I have my, where I make my money, where I make my hustle. And you're like, let's get this money to keep working for me. So you take your $100,000 and you move it into deal two. Same exact deal, identical, looks the same. Just because you're cashed out of your first deal does not mean that you're out of the first deal. You will still continue to get your 6% from the first deal. And now you're also in the second deal. So year five, you have 6,000 from deal one, 6,000 from deal two. Okay, remember, just because you got a cash out does not mean you're, not out, you're out of the deal. Sometimes there are investments where when you get your cash out, they'll say, Goodbye, good, thank you for investing with us and uh, you know, you're, you're out of the deal. Or they'll drastically lower your position. But in our, in our investments, in our, in our properties, in our projects, we keep our partners exactly in there. If you're getting 6% 6, you on your 100K, that's what you'll continue to get based on the equity of the property. So year six, so you're getting 6,000 from deal one and 6,000 from deal two, that gives you 12K. All right, so year, year six, you're getting 12K. Year seven, 12K. 
Year eight, it's that magical cycle, four years, we're doing the cash out refi again. Now it's not always gonna be four years, sometimes it could be two years, three years, five years, six years to do the 100% cash out, but we're gonna just keep it very simple here just for the demonstration of how this formula and this, this game plan works. So year eight, you get 12K out, and now we're gonna cash out again, your deal one is getting another cash out, because we've raised rents enough. So you're gonna get 100K from there and you're gonna get 100K from deal two. So you're gonna get a $200,000 cash out, tax-free again. So you're like, all right, let's do it again. Let's go into deals three and four, all right, with the 200K. That's gonna give you, now you have four deals pumping money for you at 6%. So you're now gonna be making 24K a year so this is oops uh this is year 9 24k year 10 24k year 11 24k year 12 it's that time again all the deals are going to do a cash out 24,000 plus four deals cashing out hundred thousand dollars that is a four hundred thousand dollar non-taxable cash out you're going to get and you're like, let's go back to deals five, six, seven, and eight. Same exact thing. Now you've got eight deals doing the same thing. Year 13, you're now at 48,000 a year. You see now it's starting to become interesting. You're getting 48,000 a year. And this is all from your initial $100,000 investment. So now you're making 48K, that's 48% of what you invested in cash on cash now. Year 15, 48K. Year 16, 48K plus eight deals being cashed out tax-free. That's $800,000. Let's stop here for a minute, okay? You've turned in this time frame $100,000 that you initially invested it's now, there is $800,000 in cash, plus you're still in the deal, okay? And you're still in all eight of these deals. Let's say your position didn't increase at all, even though every time you do a cash out, you're actually gonna have more equity. But let's just say you still have 100,000 in equity in each deal, that gives you 800K in equity. So you've turned 100K into 1.6 million in this time. 100,000 to 1.6 million is a 1600% return. Divide that by 16 years, you are at an average of 100% return a year. Now, let's just for the, for the sake of seeing what happens in the next cycle, Right, so now let's say you take your 800K, you go back into eight more deals, eight more deals, so that's deals nine to 17. Year 17, you're now at $96,000 a year in passive income. Year 18, and remember again, all this passive income, because apartments have a lot of tax advantages, actually all real estate gives you tax advantages, but apartments give you a lot. You have cost segregation, you have the expenses. At the end of the year, you're gonna get a K-1 that's gonna say, all right, you made $96,000 in income, but the losses from the property and the depreciation is exceeding 96,000. That is why this, your passive income is also gonna be tax free, tax exempt. All right, so, I mean, think about it. Getting $96,000 and not having to pay any taxes just that itself is another three, four percent in, in, you can count that as cash flow, I guess. So $96,000, year 19, $96,000, year 20, 96K, and you're gonna now cash out on all of your deals. Wait, so that's eight, sorry, this is actually 17, so. 16. So you're also going to cash out $1.6 million tax free. All right. And let's stop here. We're like, okay, 
Let's stop for a second. Let's do this calculation again. $100,000 turned into 1.6 million in cash, plus same thing, 1.6 million in equity in those deals, in those 16 deals. So you've turned 100K into $3.2 million in net worth. Your net worth is now 3.2 million. You are now a millionaire or you've been a millionaire, but now you're a multimillionaire. That is a 3,200% return in 20 years. That comes out to 160% per year average. Okay, now this is gonna start to exponentially get bigger. The next time that you look at this, the next four year cycle, it's gonna be 240% a year, and it's gonna get bigger and bigger. And this is just 20 years on a $100,000 investment. Where can you get returns like this? Nowhere, and all the tax savings. Think about the families, the wealthy, wealthy families that have been doing this for 200 years, 300 years, and they didn't start with 100,000. They started with, maybe they started with 100, but they start putting more money in there, and 200 years down the road, their cash flow is probably in the millions. Their kids, their kids' kids are set for life as long as the assets are never touched. The golden goose is never touched. You can be sustainably stupid with the cash flow because you did not trade your time for that money. You buy a Rolex, throw the Rolex out. You can buy a nice car, buy a plane, buy a boat. All those things, you could lose money on them. It doesn't even matter because more money just keeps coming in. As long as the golden goose, the asset is never touched, this is how you create generational wealth. This is something that you can leave behind for your kids and they never have to worry about money again. Think about that. This is the goal. We want to leave not only a better planet for our kids, for our next generation, but we want to have them be financially free when they get in. Let them make all the stupid mistakes, but at least they don't have to worry about money and they can focus on what matters more to them what matters more to the planet. They'll find things that are more purposeful, more fulfilling eventually, even if they're making stupid choices in the beginning. But as long as they're financially free and they're always able to, and you teach just this one thing, just this one formula to your kids, they'll be set and they'll thank you forever. Generations will thank you. And you get to start this now the question for you guys is when is your day one? When is your day one? When are you ready to make this move? So that is how you create 100% returns. That is the power of real estate, commercial real estate. The most important thing in real estate actually and in these deals is how many units you have. How many units and the location. Both are very, very important and I hope I see your comments. I hope that this video was supportive for you. Follow me on my social media. Join me on our Monday night mastermind calls. Free, everything is free and you can learn from those places and that's where I got started. Somebody else gave that to me and I wanna give this back to you. And I hope that I see you in a deal and that we get to build a relationship from you watching this video.